Mr. Yan, it's six past six o'clock. You have another high-level meeting at half past seven. It's time to get up. Get out. Fine. I'm Song Xiang. I've been with Yan Li Han for five years. On the outside, I'm the principal secretary of the Yan Group's president. But on the inside, I'm Yan Li Han's lover. I'm a lover, a qualified lover, because I'm in love with Yan Li Han. There is a company banquet tonight. I heard Mr. Lu to also participate. The notorious Mr. Lu was obsessed with Mr. Yan's auntie, Louis. It is him. Where Mr. Yan asked us to go? Hi, Miss Song. Don't worry, Mr. Yan won't do that. Yan Li Han is cold and strict at work, but he won't let employees do something low. Song Xiang, come to my office. Here's the dress. Put it on. Work overtime this evening. The notorious Mr. Lu, who is obsessed with Mr. Yan's auntie, Lu Yixi, where Mr. Yan asked us to go. Song Xiang, have you awoken yet? I've woken up. I've been dreaming to be the wife of Yan Li Han for too long. It's time to wake up. Song Xiang, you are the principal secretary. You represent the face of the Yan Group. If you don't want to, you can leave. Yan Li Han. You know I can't leave you, Mister Yan. I won't dismiss. Now that you won't, take your best shot tonight. I'm so delusional. She is your principal secretary. What a beautiful woman. Yeah, you're very lucky, Miss Secretary. Isn't it boring to be with Yan? Why don't you be with me? Miss Song has been with me for five years. She doesn't care about chicken feed, right, Song Xiang? Yan Li Han. So in your eyes, I'm just a commodity for sale. Miss Song, don't be so nervous. Let's have a drink. Here, I toast you. Thanks, Mr. Lu. Ah, sorry, Mr. Lu. So sorry, Mr. Lu. It's just a piece of clothes. You don't be nervous. Just stay with me. Stay with me and change it for me. The notorious Mr. Lu, who is obsessed with Mr. Yan's auntie, Lu Yixi, where Mr. Yan asked us to go. You represent the face of the Yan Group. Take your best shot tonight. Yan Li Han, Yan Li Han. Miss Song, relax. I'm always gentle with beauties. Mr. Lu, show some respect. Mr. Yan is waiting for me. Do you really think Yan Li Han cares about you? If he cares about you, he wouldn't let me take you away. You've slept with him for five years. You have lots of experience, don't you? I'm really curious. What will the feeling be like in Yan Li Han's woman? Ah! Ah! You motherfucker! Yan Zhen Zhen. What did you say? Mister Lu likes Yan Zhen Zhen, right? So what is your point? She's the same as you. Unappreciated. Love is an important aspect in dating and marriage. Not the same as one and stand. Why not? Let me make a deal with you. I will help you get what you want. You help me to get Yan Li Han's ante. You have lots of guts. He can get me to someone. Can't I get back at him? Interesting. Then for now, I let you go, Song Xiang. If you dare to trick me, I will kill you. Mister Yan, Miss Song Xi. She's not coming out. Drive. Mister Yan, Miss Song, she's out. 
Miss Song is very skillful. You can even let Louis Sir release you. Mr. Yen thinks I can't get out? You have some skills. Thank you for your five year training. These five years, I've learned a lot. You're not even close to being good in bed. These five years, you haven't improved a bit. I'm stupid. I'd like to see if Louis has trained you properly. Keep your voice down later. The driver is out there and will hear you. Yeni Han, you bastard! Am I an asshole like Luis? Am I not dirty? I had 20 minutes alone with Luis. Well, is that enough time? We have done everything. Are you sure you want to do this with me? Yeni Han, you don't really care about me at all. You're dirty. Don't mess up my car. Get out. Because you know I love you. You do whatever you want. Miss Song, waiting for your good news. As bad as she is, she shouldn't fall into Louise's trip. Not to mention she's also Yan Han's auntie. How could I harm her? But how do I get rid of Louise? Miss Song, Mr. Ye is in the hospital. Please come here. Third floor, the second examination room. Hello. You are Miss Song, right? It's just a simple hygiene check. Don't be nervous. Yan Li Hai thinks I've been played by Louise. That's why he's here to check if I get diseases. Mr. Yan, are you happy with what you see? You should be happy. The medical report shows you're healthy. Otherwise, even if you kneel down and beg me, I wouldn't want you. Yan Li Hai, let me resign. Do you know what you're saying? I'm sober. If you're tired of me, just let me go. Are you serious? Yes. Fine. Since you're leaving, they hire me another principal secretary to take your place. There are six secretaries in the office. Anyone can be the principal secretary. I'm talking about your lover's place. You've been with me for five years. You know what kind of woman suits me. When the new secretary arrives, I'll let you go. Five years. I'm just a lover who can be replaced by Yan Li Hai at any time. Yan Li Hai. I don't want to love you anymore. You are all great. There is no question about your ability, but we need a comprehensive assessment for President's secretary post. Now I'm going to ask you a few questions. I hope you will answer the truth. Do you have any boyfriends? How many ex-boyfriends do you have? Is your life promiscuous? Have you ever had a plastic surgery? I refuse to answer. Are you hiring a principal secretary or looking for a lover? So big company is dirty too, huh? Principal secretary of the President's office is special. Do you want to get the company involved in your personal issues? None of you are qualified. We don't even care. Next one. If Yan Li Han sees her, I'm sure he will like her. Have you ever had a boyfriend? No need to ask. You just bring her to the office. Okay, Miss Yan. Wincy, congratulations. You are hired. Go to the president's office with me. Miss Yan, she's the new interviewee. Wincy. Wincy, right? Mm. Come to the office at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Miss Song will teach you around. Thank you, Miss Yan. I see. It's not that Yan Li Hai is not gentle. He just doesn't care to be gentle to me. Miss Yan. 
You promised me to leave. Teach her, and then I'll let you go. Miss Song, you have good taste. I'm happy with the new girl. When you leave, I'll give you a nice package. Okay, Miss Tian. Love for five years. It's time to let it go. Miss Song, the Yan Group is so good. Why did you leave? It's a good company, but I have my reason. Oh no, that's too bad. Miss Yan is the best boss I've ever had. Yesterday, he said he'd arrange accommodation for me. Arranging accommodation for her so soon. Yan Li Han, that's very sweet. Is that so? That's good. Hi, Mr. Lu. Miss Song, long time no see. Shall we have lunch together? We'll have a nice chat. About the cooperation, Mr. Lu. Too bad. I have to accompany Mr. Yan on a business trip today. I will come back and invite you to dinner. At that time, you must come, please. You are going on a business trip as soon as I get here, Miss Song. You're not lying to me, are you? <laughs> How dare I, Miss Song? Aren't you leaving after you hand over your work? How do you have a business trip? Leaving. Of course, Miss Song will leave the Yan Group today. Hi, Mr. Lu. I'm the new secretary of the Yan Group. Song Xia, how dare you trick me? What's up, Mr. Yan? I've organized the material for today's meeting. I will get it for you, Mr. Yan. Miss Song said she had a business trip with you this afternoon, but I didn't know that was on your schedule. Did I forget it? Song Xia, I don't know. I have a business trip. When did I ever teach you this? You're full of lies. Your shame. A shame? I've worked with you for five years. For these five years, I've worked hard. I haven't made a single mistake in my work. Now I'm ashamed. Yeah, he had. Let's get the same straight. Miss Song, are you okay? Don't touch her. She'll dirty your hand. Of course, I'm a dirty lover. Deserve to be left alone. Song Xiao, this is what you get for quitting your job. Don't look anymore. Your Mister Yan won't come back. It's my turn to settle the thing with you. Get out, Song Xiao. I don't need the face you give. In his mind, I've been dirty. Why not be dirtier? Song Xia, I must fuck you today. Louis, after you sleep with me, you will just get a woman that Yan Li Han abandons. So what? I don't fucking care. <sighs> But if you let me go, I can be your blade. Not only can I help you get Yan Zheng, I can also help you get the Yan Group. You bitch. You still want to lie to me? You have been kicked out by the Yan Group. What can you do? I can help you beat down Yan Li Han. I know the secret of Yan Li Han. Losers in planning department. Song Xiao, don't add sugar in my coffee. Sorry, Mister Yan. I don't know. I will make you another one. No need. Where is Song Xiao? Miss Song has left for three days. She might not be back. She will be back, Song Xiao. She won't leave the Yan Group. I underestimated that woman. Now that she's gone, I won't give her a chance to come back. Mister Yan, it's almost time for the appointment with the Lu Group. Fine. Mister Yan, why isn't the Lu Group here? It's been almost half an hour. Hello, Miss Yan. I'm the new principal secretary of the Lu Group, Song Xiang. Miss Song, you went to the Lu Group. Hope Miss Lu won't give you a hard time. The Lu Group, principal secretary. Miss Yan, you seemed surprised. As the saying goes, water flows downhill. People go to high places. It's natural for me to change jobs to the Lu Group today on behalf of the Lu Group. I'm here to sign a contract with the Yan Group, Mr. Yan. Where is the contract? 
Since the Yan Group isn't keen to sign, our Lu Group shall leave. Song Xiang. Miss Song, before you impersonated the Yan Group secretary, now you are in the Lu Group. Even if you get this contract, what's good for you? You are a liar. Even if you want to go back to the Yan Group, you don't have to use such despicable means. You can just back me. I'll let you go back to the Yan Group. Song Xiang is full of tricks. I will not let her win. The principal sector is mine. Yan Li Hai is also mine. So, do I have to thank Mr. Yan for being so generous? Sorry, I'm not going back to the Yan Group. Song Xiang, don't be so ungrateful. You don't want to sign the contract? Then get out of the way. Mr. Lu, someone is pretending to be your company's principal secretary. She wants to ruin our corporation. Yeah, let me introduce you. She is my highly paid principal secretary, Miss Song Xiang. Mr. Lu, it seems that Yan Group doesn't want to seal the deal. Just let it be. How about backing off from the collaboration and finding another partner? Mr. Lu, collaboration should be a two-way street. Our Yans can help you expand the domestic market. What do you mean by that? Isn't it clear? The collaboration is no go. Mr. Lu, let's go. It's you who asked to cooperate, but now you are rejecting at the last minute. Are you just missing with us? So what if we are? Did you get a problem with that? Or is it Miss Yan who's got an issue? Miss Wen, mind showing them the door? Please. <laughs> if you are serious about that, it's on your sincerity, Miss Wen. What is your opinion, Mister Mister Lu? I don't understand what you mean. I mean that I'd like a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Miss Wen. Mister Ya, you cool with that? Miss Wen, let's go. Mister Ya. Mister Lu, today's not for collaboration talks. Please make your exit. Miss Song, let's go. Yili Han, if you'd had my bed that day, I wouldn't be stuck in teaming up with Lu Yi now. I didn't expect that Yili Han is quite protective with her secretary. Miss Song, you must be jealous, right? Song Xiang, answer me! Who Yan Li Han supports is none of my concern. I'm only targeting Yan Li Han now. Mr. Lu, hand over the project to me. I will strive for the best interest for you. Sure, Lu's. it's just a contract. I don't care. However, I quite like Miss Wen. You figure out a way to get her on my bed. I can't do that. You have three days to do it. Either it's her, or it's you, Miss O. It's up to you. Yan Li Han, you abandon me. Lian, give me a drink. Here it is. These days are really hard to be. Xiao, now that you've left Yan Li Han, why do you work for Luis? Out of the frying pan into the fire. Didn't you want to start your own business? Why not ditch him and run your own company? Much better. Oh, it's not that simple. They won't let me go easily. <laughs> Xiang, my little lover is here. I will go meet him first. Go, go, go. You bitch! Did you seduce my husband? Go to hell! Who are you? Who are you? Seducing my sister's husband for a ticket to marrying into wealth. Take a look at yourself. Get her. You've got the wrong person. And yet, you don't admit seducing my husband. Now, I will put her in the ringer. You bitch. Should this happen again, I will scar your face. What are you doing? Let her go. 
Xiang, are you okay? Who are you? How dare you make troubles in my club? Cut the crap! Where is my husband? You can't control your own husband. Why make trouble here? So ill-mannered. Brother, I'm here to find my husband. Looking for people? I thought you were killing people. What's going on? Honey, why are you here? Missy is quite good at acting. Looks like she's the one getting beaten. I'll handle my family affairs. Those who are not involved can leave now. It's all a misunderstanding. Mr. Zhao, the so-called misunderstanding made your wife ends up mistreating Xiang like this. What else could be done? Let her beat me up? Miso, my wife has a quick temper. Sorry to offend you. I will drink the wine. Hope you can forgive her. Why do you apologize to her? You haven't done anything wrong. Do you mean that you are wrong? Apologize to my friend. No way. Cut it short. She was just a lover. She deserved it. It's my problem. No need to apologize. Miso! I will drink as a self-penalty. And let's move past it. Lian, can you allow me to freshen up here? Have a rest first. I will handle it later. Miss Gu and Miss Song live together. Some people are heartless. Xiang worked hard for five years, only to be kicked out. You bitch, you deserve to be abandoned. The Yans is all crazy. They must have some mental and genetic diseases. Bastard, go bankrupt as soon as possible. Yes, going bankrupt. It's like a pipe dream. As the principal secretary of Luz, you don't even have a place to stay. Sun Xiao, you're getting poorer as you go. Seems your ingratiating backer isn't generous at all. Well, you had the landlord kick me out. How generous are you? If I hadn't been kicked out and had nowhere to go, I wouldn't stay with Gu Lian and be unlucky to encounter such a mess. Sharp tongued. Why don't you talk her back just now? I owe my connection with Mr. Lu to your introduction, being the middle man. I forgive her for the sake of you. Listen, keep a tighter ring on your cousin. Should this happen again, there won't be any leniency. Yan I won't spare you either. Louis is not good. Quit your job and go back to Yan's. You have your own secretary. Why bother with an ex-partner like me? Sun Xiang, I told you, only I, Yan Lihan, can decide when things get stale. Not you leave me on your own accord. For the past, I forgive you. Tomorrow, I have to see you in Yan's. Not necessary, Mr. Yan. If one doesn't meet your expectations, just keep hiring until you are satisfied. I won't go back to you. Sun Xiang, you will be back. Miss So, sorry, but I can't let you in. You don't have an appointment, so you won't be able to see Mr. Yan. It's my duty. Please don't blame me. Miss So, let me remind you, Mr. Yan is in a meeting right now. He won't answer your course. You've already left Yan's. Why come back for humiliation? Working for Luz is not bad. At least you can improve yourself aboard. Everyone envies that opportunity. So shall. Mr. Yan, I'm now at the office door. Come in. Song Xiang, sooner or later, I will step on you. Song Xiang, I told you, you'd come back. Dress up. We have a banquet tonight. Or maybe you're here to negotiate about the 50 million yuan. Mr. Yan, you know that. I don't have the money. I can go back to work, but not in the secretary department. I want to join the sales department. Do you think the company belongs to you? Mr. Yan, I simply want to go to the sales department. If you disagree, I can compensate you with 15 million yuan. If he tries to stump me, he will surely agree with my application. Why do you insist going to sales? But you do have wisdom. To be able to convince Lu Yisu to let you leave. Mr. Lu is straightforward, unlike some people. Who are petty. What? Song Xia, you want to go back? That's ridiculous. What do you think of me? Mr. Lu, Yans is also bidding for the High City project. What do you mean by that? It is our biggest competitor. If we can obtain their quotation. 
All right, I'll let you go this time. If you dare to deceive me, you'll be in trouble. Only if Luis knows that I've been demoted to the sales department can he avoid forcing me to steal quotation. You're smart and have a good temper. You can even endure being slapped in the face. Song Xia, not joining the sales department will be a waste of your talent. Thanks for your guidance. I will take the position in the sales department. Song Xia, I agree you to join the sales department. Attend the banquet tonight first. Mr. Yan, I'm just a salesperson. I'm not appropriate to attend the banquet. You are suitable because you're just a drinking partner. Miss Song, why did Mr. Yan call you? Is he thinking of inviting you back to work? Don't worry, Miss Wen. I've been reassigned to the sales department. There's no conflict of interest with you. Miss Song. Here's my chance. Tonight, no one can stop me from winning over Yan. Come on, cheers. 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 Help yourselves. Song Xia, drink together with Mr. Lu. Enjoy your time. <laughs> Let me serve you the wine. Much appreciated. Song Xia, even if you join this banquet, you can't stop me from ending up with Yan Lihan. After this evening, I will become Mrs. <laughs> Yan. And you, you are destined to be abandoned again. One more glass. It's getting late. I send the lady upstairs to rest. Well, I take my leave then. Have a good time. Let's go. Miss Wu, take me upstairs. Su Xiao, go back yourself by taxi. Miss Wen, what happened? Miss Song, hurry back, Mr. Yan is in trouble. What else could happen to him? You should go for Mr. Lu. Don't call me. Miss Song, Mr. Yan is really in trouble. I beg you here to take a look. Tell me, what did you do to Li, huh? I really don't know. Mr. Yan said he wanted to drink, then he hit one glass and fell down. Su Xia, you're here. The eye is not feeling well. Come and see. How is it? Anaphylaxis. Quick, call a doctor. I've already called him. He's on the way. Thank God, I still have one special medicine. Mr. Lu, could you give me a glass of water? Sure. Go away. Here's the water. Mr. Lu, can you help me to hold him? Song Xiang! Song Xiang, don't be afraid. It should be great to see him suffering. Please don't vomit. The medicine will work. What's going on here? Doctor, you're here. Take a look at him. How is it? How is it, doctor? The anaphylaxis isn't severe now. What did you feed him? A best now. This is a rare medicine for allergies. There should be no problem. Just wait a little longer. He should wake up soon. Thank you, doctor. It's fine now. Wen Xin, come here. Tell me, what did you give him to drink? Mr. Yan said he wanted to drink, so I mixed a glass of cocktail for him. Concentrated mango juice? Didn't I tell you? So, so. What have you done to me? Li Han, are you shameless? If it weren't for Song Xiang still loving you, carrying your medicine with her, you would have been done for. Still love him? I just forgot to throw it away. I should thank you. Mr. Yan, be more careful henceforth. Avoid mangoes. Better die of severe allergies. I'm sorry, Mr. Yan. I didn't know about your mango allergy. Song Xiang, you didn't tell my secretary about my mango allergy? What's your intention? So smart, trying to use allergies to make Yan Lihan pass out in order to sleep in his bed. It's a pity she overdosed. 
something as important as allergies you can also forget. Sun Xiao, I have to thank you for not telling Ms. Wen I'd love to eat mangoes. I'm sorry, I didn't do my job right. Li Han, it wasn't easy for Sun Xiang. At this night time, only she can save you. Something happened to me. You don't call an ambulance. But for wait her to save me? Lu Zichen, do you want to go to the hospital to heal your brain? If not, let Uncle Lu have another heir. Li Han, you've got to have a conscience. It's your Miss Wen that found her. I'm sorry, Mr. Ye. It happened suddenly. I can only find Miss Song. Just in case, I will stay and take care of you at night. Since Mr. Yen is fine, I will go first. Who allowed you to go? Stay and take care of me. Me? It's your mistake. If you're not responsible, who is? Aren't you afraid I will take care of you and kill you? It was my fault. Just let me stay. It's Song Xiang's fault. Let Song Xiang stay and take care of him. Let's go! Go! Come and tuck me in. If Mr. Yan likes a rich nightlife, I can call Miss Wen. She will be happy to serve you. I still like you more. Mr. Yan, I'm a salesperson, not a secretary. Does Mr. Yan forget that I've been touched by someone else? Is Mr. Yan still interested in me? Bitch, go out. Don't get my bat dirty. He's right. Dirty bitch, just stay out. Don't get my bed dirty. You've ruined my plan. Still can't sleep with Mr. Yan. You deserve to be dumped. Miss Wen, even if you don't go after Mr. Yan, Miss Sien will also go after you. Unfortunately, you did so. I'm afraid you won't have the chance in the future. Miss Song, what are you talking about? I can't understand. Miss Wen, you and I both know it. Miss Sien is still inside. You go take care of him. Little slut, how dare you to mock at me? I will make you pay. Miss Song, is your stomach upset? Miss Song, are you okay? Bullying my friend? You want to die? Who are you? How dare you hit me? Are you okay? I will take you to the hospital. Slow down. Miss Ting drink. Where is Song Xiao? Miss Song left in the middle of the night. I saw that she didn't look well, so I was afraid she's in danger. But when I went out to see, I saw... What did you see? I... I saw Miss Song on the phone, talking about a tender offer. <laughs> then she left in a hurry. I followed her and saw her get into Mr. Lu's car. Mr. Yan, Miss Song won't be in danger, right? Song so. <coughs> Song Xiang, thank you for leaving early, giving me a chance to slander you. Doctor, is she fine? She's fine. It's just acute gastroenteritis. After the infusion, she can go home. Okay, thank you, doctor. Lian, thank you. I'm sorry you had to take me to the hospital. You're welcome. It's fine that you're okay. Unexplained absence from work. A fine of 10,000 yuan. Mr. Yan, I'd like to take a sick day. Report to sales today. Otherwise, bear the consequences. Yan Li Hai, is he crazy? 
He's acting like a mad dog. He's trying to force me back to continue to be his lover. At that time, didn't he force you to leave? He thinks I can't live without him. In fact, he didn't expect I will let go and don't love him anymore. Then why are you going to work? Listen to me. Leave the hospital when you're better. Lian, don't worry. I'm not going back. He's not making it easy for me. And I'm not gonna make it easy for him either. Miss O. I already got a quote. After the bidding, you'll get your share of benefits. A quote? I didn't tell Luis about the quote. No wonder Luis let you back. So it's for the benefit of the quote. Song Xiao, who betrayed me, must pay for it. The quote I give you is fake. Luis is not destined to get the project. He's got a vengeance, so he'll teach you a lesson for me. Mr. Yan, first, I didn't betray you. Second, it wasn't Luis who let me go. It's you who forced me back. You make me sick. Yan Li Han, you never believed me. Have you heard it? The principal secretary came to sell cars. Who did she offend? What principal secretary? All she does is seducing people. If she's here to sell cars, she also uses her body to make money. Hey, hey! Miss Song, you're here. Oops, look at me. You're not the secretary now, but a salesperson. Is that Miss Wen, who told you to take care of me? Your Miss Wen's tactics are as naive as ever. I'm not as mature as you, but you fall for childish tactics. Oh well, I also help you give the quote to Luis. You don't need to thank me. Wen Xin, I have nothing against you. Why do you have to target me? Now that you have left the Yan group, why did you come back? Now that you had sex with Luis, then keep your Luis. Why did you come back to seduce Miss Dian? You're not leaving. Of course I'm going to ruin you. Miss Song, you've been Yan's principal secretary for five years. You must have offended a lot of people. What a coincidence. I've told the news of you selling cars to your old acquaintance, Yan Zhen Zhen. Well, I will leave you two to catch up. Miss Yan, I'm sorry, I can't say. Miss Song, just tell me, where's Yan Li Han's handstand? I will let him marry you. I will make you the right for Mrs. Yan. I can't say. Ungrateful bitch. Miss Yan, what do you want to drink? Thank you. Would you please excuse us? I'm looking for Miss Sung for personal matters. <laughs> Yan Li Han is really overdoing it. Such a great talent for sales department. It doesn't even bother him. Yans has so many talents. There's no shortage of Song Xiang. He doesn't care. I care. Do you want to help me at my new company? It's not about wanting me. She's just trying to give Yan Li Han a hard time. It's also to get revenge on me in the future. Thank you, Miss Yan, for your kindness. I'm afraid I will not live up to it. Miss Song, think about it. And order me a ghost. That's my sincerity. You don't have to take care of me. Not taking care of you. This is a gift to my sweetheart. I will ask my assistant to bring the deposit. Prepare the contract. Song Xiao failed to appreciate my kindness. She dared to refuse me. I can't deal with Yan Li Han, but I can deal with you. Miss Yan, we've received your deposit. The formalities have been completed. You see, when will you settle the final payment? Miss Song, just use your name for purchasing the car. I want to surprise my sweetheart. I don't want him to know. Miss Yan, don't worry. Your assistant made it clear. I can't be wrong. Miss Song, I've been a little busy lately. About the final payment, just contact my assistant. I've got work to do. I will hang up now. 
Miss Song is really popular. She's already sold a car during a few days. It's also a million yuan car. That's enviable. Isn't it just a luxury car? There's nothing to envy. Yan Zhengzhen ordered a car from you. Mr. Yan, what's the problem? You've offended Lu Si. Then now you have Yan Zhengzhen, Song Xiao. Nice touch. You are all sick. Do you see it? Paying the deposit in her own name. By then, if she can't get the balance back, she had to pay for it. It's true that she has big boots, but no brain. She deserves to be cheated. Song Xiao, where's the final payment of the ghost? How do you do things? Can you do it? If you can't, get lost. Miss Yan is very busy. I will call to confirm. I'm sorry, the phone you dialed is busy. I'm sorry, the phone you dialed is busy. Hello? Miss Yan, the formalities are all done. You see, when is the final balance due? Order a car? When did I book a car? Miss Yan, what do you mean? Miss Song, what are you talking about? I can't understand. Miss Yan, your assistant gave us the deposit in person. If you don't pay the final balance, we have the right to hold you legally liable. How to legally responsible? It's ridiculous, Miss Song. Is it not you who borrowed 800,000 yuan to buy a car? If you don't return it with interest, I'm the one who's gonna hold you legally responsible. I got it. Miss Yan, you want your revenge? Miss Song, what are you talking about? I can't understand. And remember to pay it back. I got it. Thanks, Miss Yan, for this lesson. I've benefited from it. Tell me! You've made a mess! How to fix it? Minister Wang, you saw it too. They worked it together inside and out. The car is gone. Gone? The car is in your name! The remaining balance of 5 million yuan, you pay it directly. It's just a new car. If you don't pay the balance, the company will sue you directly. I don't have any money. You don't have money? Well, come to the Hao Hotel with me tonight. I'll tell you how to make up the balance. 5 million yuan. Swap my card. A black card? How can you have a black card? How many men have you sex with to get this card? You don't have it. It doesn't mean that others don't. Swap the card. Some people don't sell cars properly, trying to make me up. Watch out. One day, you're over. The card is Yan Li Hines. He just caught me to mock me. That's the price of mocking me. Congratulations to Miss Song for the new car. Miss Song is really generous. What are you doing? Hey, Yan Han, what are you doing? Song Xiao, can't Louise satisfy you? You use my 5 million yuan to buy a car? Miss Yan, I've got a birthday gift for you. You're sure to like it. My birthday is in winter. Miss Yan, a black ghost. It will arrive in half a month. Don't you like it? You're kind enough to give me a gift? Why? After you offend Louise, you turn to me? It's just that I don't have enough money. This money, it's a loan. Drink these three cups. I'll take the car. Thank you, Mr. Yan, for lending me the money.
Go on. Three cups down. Get out. Thank you, Mr. Yan. So shameless. Yan? Li Han? Did you have sex with Wen Xin? Who said I like Wen Xin? Don't you like that type? Beautiful, pure, ponytailed. You like having sex with others and being irresponsible. Your body is not even good. I... Song Xiao. Yan Li Han bastard. Sooner or later I will get you. Song Xiao. I knew you wanted to have sex with me, Yan Li Han. Force me back, isn't it just because of my body? Get out. Don't dirty my room. Song Xiang, why is she here? Yan Li Han? Mr. Yan? Mr. Yan? What a great opportunity. After you slept with me, you have to be responsible. Mr. Yan, last night, I did it willingly. Miss Wen, go to the company to check out. I don't need a smart-ass secretary. Mr. Yan, what did I do wrong? Last night, you were drunk. You hugged me and kissed me. I like you. How could I refuse? If you don't want to be fired, just do your job. Keep your place. Miss Wen, I was just drunk. Whether I had sex or not, I know better than you. Next time, I'll fire you immediately. Miss Yan! Yan Li Han, sooner or later, I will get you. Hello, Mr. Lu. What's wrong? To take revenge on me, you ruined our bidding project with Yan Li Han. You're a real bitch. Mr. Lu. Wen Xin tempered with the quote. She sets us up. Wen Xin? She's just a little secretary. Where did she get the quote? She's not a secretary. She's the principal secretary of Yan Li Han. Are you sure? Aren't you lying to me? Mr. Lu, you can check the truth of this matter. A felt bit is nothing. When I get something on Yan Li Han, I will help you take him down. It doesn't matter if we get Yan Li Han or not. Who I want? Is Yan Zhen Zhen? Song Xiang, don't come here to seduce Mr. Yan. He is now. My man. Miss Wen, Miss Yan asked me to come. Why not? Go and ask him. Miss Wen, this document needs to be stamped. You go get the official seal. Okay. Miss Yan, please go back. Mr. Yan is not here. You won't get a stamp. You are not the principal secretary. Who are you to stop me? You are not the principal secretary. Who are you to stop me? I'm not. There is also the other who is principal secretary. Miss Wen, you go and get the official seal. This document was adopted by the board of directors. Since it was adopted by the board of directors, then Mr. Yan will definitely sign it. Doesn't Miss Wen look at the contents of the document? So Xiao, what do you mean? Doubting me? I'm sorry, Miss Yan. You had a bad record. Miss Wen should naturally be cautious. 
Miss Yan, I will go to get it for you. Miss Wen, official sales can't be borrowed. Don't you know the company's rules? Song Xiang, are you not in the right position? The principal secretary is Wen Xing, not you. Even if she's the principal secretary, she's not allowed it to take the official sale casually. What's going on? Mr. Yan, Miss Yan has a document that needs to be stamped. Miss Song and I are discussing whether we should stamp it or not. Miss Wen, the rule of not lending out the official seal, don't you know it? Yan Li Han, this document you're not going to sign, are you? Miss Wen, seal her off. Song Xiang, you dare mess with me. I won't let you go. Miss Wen, you can even make a simple mistake like that. Are you stupid? Who do you think you are? I'm sorry, Mr. Yan. I will try my best in the future. Downgrade it to the sales department. If you fail to achieve goals this month, get out of here. Miss Wen, you are my niece-in-law. My ungrateful nephew is charmed by a vixen. As long as you can get rid of this vixen, you can be Mrs. Yan. Miss Yan, trust me. I will make that bitch disappear. Mr. Yan, what do you want? You owe me 5 million yuan. Mr. Yan, don't worry. I will definitely pay you back. Go to your sales department. Get out of my way. Song Xiang, go to the mall and buy me clothes. I have an international meeting later. Why should I go? You ripped it. If you don't go, who goes? Song Xiang, do you dare to disrespect me? You've come to my territory. Let's see what I will do to you. Isn't this Miss Song? Not selling cars in the sales department, but shopping instead. Shopping for men's clothing, no less. Who are you trying to seduce this time? Miss Yan, please do not use your dirty gaze to judge others. I'm not like you. Living so well even after leaving Miss Yan. It seems you've gained quite a bit from him. How come now when you see our Zhen Zhen? You're still so defiantly unapologetic. Miss Fine, you can't even manage your own husband. Yet you want to meddle in other people's business. Moreover, even if I do spend Miss Yan's money, what does it have to do with you? Do you know who owns this street? This is the property of the Yans. Do you believe that with one word from Zhen Zhen, you could be driven out? Manager, come here. Kick this woman out for me. All right, Miss Yan. Lady, please leave them all. Wait. The clothes you're wearing, they also belong to the Yans, right? Take them off. Miss Yan. This outfit of mine wasn't a purchase from your mall. If there is a problem with the merchandise, of course, the store should recall it. I can compensate you ten times the price. But Miss Song, you must leave the clothes here. I want to take them off. I will get someone to help you undress. You don't have to do it yourself. Song Xiao, today I will make sure you are humiliated. Come, help Miss Song undress. <laughs> Manage Yang. Are you just going to watch your customer being insulted like this? What does a manager matter? Take them off! What are you doing? The people of the Yan group dare to hit people! Hit pretty hard! So Xia, you're just going for a stroll and make Yan's stock price tremble. Mr. Yan, this is not my fault. I don't care whose fault it is. Deal with it immediately. This is your problem to solve. If you can't even handle this, the public relations department might as well disband. Someone was taking videos, and you didn't stop it. I was being attacked by Miss Yan and the others. How could I stop it? I give you 24 hours. Arrange the public relations department. Take care of it right away. I can handle it, but you have to promise me one thing. You dare to negotiate terms with me? Well, then I'm not taking responsibility. Let your department handle it. Do you really think the department can handle it? I'm the person involved. Only when I step in can it be the fastest and the most cost-effective solution. If this is not handled well, you are the worst offender. 
Don't worry. Give me two hours. I will take care of it. Does Miss Yan have a conflict with you, so she humiliated you in public? Everyone misunderstood. The content in the video was an internal quality test arranged by our group this time. Miss Yan just made a friendly appearance. It was a lot of pressure. This is my first time playing the bad guy. You said it was a play? A while ago, we received an internal report from the group accusing our mall manager of their election of duty. In order to prevent false accusations, we decided to carry out this acting test. Unfortunately, the manager of the World Trade Mall, Manager Yang, failed and has been dismissed by the Yang Group. We, the Yang Group, will not keep unqualified employees. Ms. Song, is this the public relations matter of the Yang Group? Do you think there is any deep hatred between Ms. Yan and me? I do not hold a position as the Yang Group and I have almost no contact with Ms. Song. This test should have been carried out in private, but in order to ensure the authenticity of the test, we decided to make it public. We're very sorry for causing everyone's misunderstanding and wasting everyone's time. The Yan Group is very sorry. It is said that Ms. Song is now a salesperson. Why was she given the important task to participate in the test? As you said, I am now a salesperson at the Yan Group. My previous identity and the training the Yan Group gave me do not allow me to refuse to participate in this test. All right. Today's conference ends here. Thank you all for coming. Song Xiao, let's see. We're not done for today. It's true. Some bones have not been picked yet. So, this is what being a boss feels like. Like this position, I'll let you sit. I've never seen you have such a big ambition before. Mr. Yan, everyone has dreams. Dreams? I think you are deluding yourself. Someday in the future, I will become a boss and I will make you embarrassed. Miss Yan, about the press conference, I've already taken care of it. Don't forget the conditions you promised me. To fulfill my promise, Xin Xiao, what do you want to do? I need Miss Yan to cover for me. I want to get rid of Lu Yisi and I want the people who bullied me to be. Get out of here. Miss Song is really something. You can even make peace with your enemy. But I advise you to give up Yan Li Han. He won't like you. Miss Wen, the man you need to seize is in there. Targeting me is pointless. But I do wish you can get what you want. To become Mrs. Yan. Miss Wen, I'm busy. What do you want? Miss Yan, didn't you want to destroy Song Xiang? I have an idea. If you ask her out, I will destroy her. Miss Wen, I have no interest in Song Xiang. Miss Yan, I have something on Mr. Yan. Are you sure you don't want it? Fine. Then I hope you won't let me down. Song Xiang, you won't get away with this. Miss Song, tomorrow night at 6.40, Prince Presidential Suite 801, I'll be waiting for you. I'm sorry, Miss Yan, I'm not available. So Xiao, you are calm. Yan Zhenzhen asked me out. It won't be good. Lian, can you put a civilian's camera in the hotel room for me? Yan Zhenzhen asked me to go to the Prince Hotel. I suspect she's up to no good. No problem, give me the room number. 
Lian is really something. She even managed to get a real-time surveillance account. Song Xiang, you are always against me. You are a bitch who seduced this man. This time, I'm going to give you a good time. Mr. Lu, Prince Hotel 801. I've made an appointment with Miss Yan. Yan Zhengzhen, you are a victim of your own destiny. I hope you will like this gift. How come it's you? Song Xiang did not lie to me. Miss Yan, it was you who humiliated me. Today, you will use your body to make up for it. No, don't come over. You... I've been waiting for you for a long time. Let me love you. Get away from me. Get up. Get out of here. Don't worry. After tonight, you'll never forget me. Miss Yan, may I ask if this gentleman is your fiancé? Miss Yan, what's your relationship with this gentleman? Stop it! Miss Yan, Miss Yan, please answer my question. Wonderful. The scandal between Yan Zhengzhen and Lu Yisi is enough to ruin both of them. Yan Zhengzhen's data is unique. The Yans want to let Lu Yisi off the hook. Lian. I'm done with the civilians in 801. Are you okay? I heard they alerted old Miss Yan. Don't worry, I will get out of this. You've got a lot of nerve. You dare to screw over the Yans? Song Xiao, to get rid of Lu Si, you schemed against the Yan Zhen Zhen. You really? are becoming more and more disgusting to me. Miss Yan, I don't understand what you are saying. Trick the Yans. Do you know what will happen to you? Let go. Let go! I don't want to hear any more of your nonsense. Yan Zhengzhen has been taken back to the Yan's residence by old Mr. Yan. Louis Su was taken away by the police. Do you think if any one of them implicates you, do you know what will happen to you? Miss Yan, any adverse remarks Mr. Yan should block them all, right? After all, I'm your people. Seeing that I'm against the Yan Zhengzhen, would old Mr. Yan believe it? My people. Seeing that I'm not your people, who would believe it? If you dare, you can also trick me. Don't use me as a shield. How do you know Yan Zhengzhen won't come back with a vengeance? Why scheme against the Yan Zhengzhen? Mr. Yan, please make it clear. Who is scheming against whom? I personally drafted the contract extension for five years. When the contract expires, you can leave. I thought it was some kind of contract. Turns out it's a mistress contract. Sorry, Mr. Yan. This contract suits your new love better. Su Xiao, you have no right to refuse. Whether you sign or not today, you have to sign. Those who scheme against my people will not end well. If you don't sign, I won't mind personally visiting your mom who's living in sanatorium. Yan Li Han, you made me do it! You made me do it! Mr. Yuan, you got a call from old Mr. Yuan. Grandpa, what's the matter? Return to the Yen's residence immediately. There are many things happening in the company. I can't get away. Cut the crap! Come back here! So Xiao, don't try to run away. You can't afford to do that. Think of your mom and Gu Lian. You stay and watch over her. Don't let anyone in except me. Yes, Mr. Yen. Yan Li Han! Why can't you let me go? Why can't you let me go? It was you who gave me to Luis. 
It was you who didn't want me first. Is it only by my death that I could be let free? Miss Ye and Mr. Lu had a private meeting at the hotel. The two are suspected to be getting together soon. Yan Zhen Zhen, such a dumbass, can't even handle Song Xiang. However, Song Xiang messed with the Yans. Even without my involvement, the Yans will definitely take care of her. Dad, you should help me, or I will be ashamed. Louis, sir, was got back and locked. What do you want? I must be set up by Song Xiang. She dares. Oh, or that was Yan Li Han's intention. I didn't mean this. Grandpa, are you looking for me? So late. What were you doing outside? For some ungrateful person, I was cleaning up her mess. Li Han, you didn't protect Wei Auntie, and we can't blame you. And say something. Sure you can. If you think I set up Auntie, you can punish me. Shit! Did you tell what happened? What about asking your daughter? She rejected Louis half a year ago. He's the president of the Lu Group. He had a resentment. That was normal, right? Just for that? Yes. You ask her what she said in public. You shamed others? I said he's poor. Shit! I told you manners. They were eaten by dogs. You can reject if you don't like. Why did you shame others? Even Louise hated me. But the one called me to hotel was... Who? Not now. If I mention Song Xiang, there would no one see. If Dad knows that I want to hurt Yan Li Han, he will punish me. Dad, I'm wrong. I'll send you a bra tomorrow. She's a girl. How dangerous. No, I don't want to go. I will stay at home. After the risk, you can get back. Let's go. Li Han, I heard that you changed your secretary. It's been five years. It was the time. Give her enough money. After all, she was not easy. Don't hurt her feelings. Li Han, you're not little. Grandpa, I'm not getting married. Hmm. You're not marrying? Or you're not marrying a rich family's girl? Grandpa, take it easy. I won't marry the principal secretary. Yan Li Han, are you out of your mind? Sign it, then you can go. Sorry, Mr. Yan, I reject. Unwillingness can't produce desired results. You will have to pay for your foolishness. You can choose not to sign. I'll see whether your mom, who's at the nursing home, can stay alive for how long. You don't let me go. You love me? I love a woman like you. Mr. Yan, you take this contract to find Miss Wen. You will get a good lover. You think the position in my bed is for anyone? You are not cherishing, Yan Li Han. You are a scumbag. I'm dumb. But during these five years, I've already fallen in love with you. But I wanted more. Not just being a lover, but president's wife. Su Xiang, what? The Yan group. President's wife. President's wife? You've got a lot of nerve. How dare you? I didn't. I really love you. Sun Xiao, it's invalid. Get lost. How ridiculous. I wanted to be the president's wife. Hello, Miss Yan. Are you fine? Don't act like that. I have news for you. Miss Yan, what are you saying? I care about you. I'm also guilty. Wen Xing. Yan Li Han gave Song Xiang a contract of mistress for five years. I think you won't ignore it, right? 
Song Xiang, this time I will finish you absolutely. Hello? 300,000 yuan. Finish your person. After that, I will add up 300,000 yuan. Yan Li Han, you're a scumbag. Ah! Ah! What happened? Accident. Accident. Accident happened. Miss, are you okay? It's bad. Now, call 120. Come! Call the ambulance! Song Xiang! Song Xiang! Song Xiang! Call the ambulance! Call the ambulance! Song Xiang! Song Xiang! Hey, please stop. No matter how, save her. Mr. Ye, what's wrong? About the car accident. Check it out. Yan Li Han, if Xiang is in danger, I won't put you at ease. She will be fine. Doctor! How is she? How? She's alright. Just a little problem in her ankle. Have a good rest after being awake. Xiang! It's fine. Mr. Ye, the person behind the accident is Wen Xing. Get her. Miss Yan, please leave. I'm just a saleswoman. But your time is precious. Your accident is work-related injury. As your boss, I should visit you. You're so lucky. Or- I don't need your visit. Miss Yan, please leave. Mr. Yan, Song Xiang has no relationship with you. You don't need to pretend. Please leave. Bye, Mr. Yan. Lian, can you survey who hurts me? What? You mean it's not an accident? It's so coincidental. Would be Lu Yisi or Yan Zhen Zhen? You have prepared to play against Yans and lose, Lian. Please survey at first. I don't know who wants to hurt me now. Okay, after I know the man, I will let him pay for it. Louis, Yan Zhen Zhen, or Wen Xing? Wen Xing escaped? Sorry, Mr. Ye. Wen Xing has a good preparation. She has escaped when we arrived. Besides, we have no information of her checking in and out. I need time. You must seize her. I see Mr. Yan. Forge some evidence and put the accident to Louis. Si. Okay, Mr. Yan. He knows the offender is Wen Xing, but he leads people to misunderstand Louis si. because he wants to cheat Song Xiang. I will never let you go. Miss Yan, I have signed on the mistress contract, but you torn up it. Don't forget, I have a large goal. I don't just want to be your mistress. 
Resignation contract. It will be on effect as you sign. You are so kind. You will let me go without any request. You're right. Unwillingness can't produce desired result. I don't want to waste time on you. What's more, you offend the Yans and Luz. Keeping you is bad for my company. You mean, Luis arranged that car accident? Xiang, oh my god, the one who arranged it is Luis! Miss Yan, I refuse to sign it. The company can't dismiss me just because I have an accident. Su Xiang, if you don't sign, come to work this afternoon. My company never uses lazy guys. Su Xiang, you can't escape from my control. Resignation contract? He is so heartless. You're right. Luis will do other things to plot against you. He is unforgiving. It's normal response after he knew I framed him. What do you want to do? Stay in the Yan group. Let them think I'm Yan Li Han's woman. He is so bad. Your leg hurts. How can you go to work? Lian, can you buy a crutch for me? Are you crazy? I don't allow you to work. Miss Song, I heard that you had an accident. Take care of yourself. Who? Nobody. Just a harassing message. Lian, can you complete the discharging for me? Oh, Miss Song, you really love your work. You have been disabled, but still on work. What's wrong? Where are your supporting men? Thank you. Sister, you're welcome. I'll help you. Youngster, I tell you, she has slept with many men. Be careful in case of some disease. Sister, what are you talking? Never mind. Thank you. I can walk by myself. Okay, sister. You will recover soon. Sister, our fate starts. Miss Dian, I will do my work. What's wrong? You want to make your legs disabled? And let my company to pay for you? No, Miss Tian. I will go to work. Come with me to handle some materials to my office. Miss Tian, I am a saleswoman now. Not your principal secretary. Miss Wen? Oh no. You don't have a principal secretary now. You can hire a new one. So Xiao, I didn't handle them because of saving you. You must do it. Don't stay here, or I will fire you. Miss Yan, I have completed. I will get off work. Sun Xiao, the mistress contract. Will has effect forever. Reply me after your consideration. Thank you, Mr. Yan. But I will resign when my work contract expires five years later. Sun Xiao, I will never let you go. You must be my woman. You refused to be his mistress? How are you going to against Luis? Lian, can you survey again? I think we were wrong before. Luis is at a board now. He can't do that so easily. Word at B. Yan Zhen Zhen? So Yan Li Han wants to protect you. He is not kind. He must have some plans. Lian, 
The key is to know the truth of my car accident. I curse you. So what? Say again. Xiang, I go out to check. Don't drink. Say again. Stop. Sister, you are here. What happened? Nothing. Just some guys cursed him. All right, I go to handle it. You can talk. Sister, this is your work card. Bo Zhen, leave her alone. Huh? You are here. What are you going to give my principal secretary? Sister, you're amazing. You are Han's principal secretary now. But why are you selling cars? Ha! Huh? If you don't cherish her, can I hire her? Bo Zhen, you just got back. You don't know a lot. Go home and ask your brother. Don't poach people at will. Okay, then I'll go, Han.、Huh? Sister, see you. So Xiao, stay away from Bo Zhen. Mr. Yan, this is my social circle. Mind your own business. Anyway, what are you doing here? If you get close to him, you will get hurt. Not everyone is like you, Mr. Yan. I'd like to ask for half a month's personal leave. What are you going to do, Mr. Yan? I don't think you want a disabled saleswoman. I granted. Xiang, I think Yan Lihai loves you. Lian, stop pulling my leg. Leave me. Aish, what a pity. There is so much difference between you two. Yes, Yan Lihai has a rich and powerful family, but I'm just an average person, and I have a mom with a mental illness. It is too much different. Lian. How is the investigation going? As we know for sure, is that someone did something about it. No matter what I do, it leads to Luis. And if Luis knows you aren't killed in the crash, why doesn't he do it again? Continue to investigate. I suspect it has something to do with Yan Lihan. He's disgusting. Then he must know who did it. Xiang. Why don't you ask him? He's so protective of this person. It must be his new love. New love? Wen Xi. It's probably her. I'm going to recuperate now. Let's wait until we know more. Ridiculous! I don't like him. Two bars. How can I get pregnant? The baby. How does this bitch Song Xiang get so lucky? The crash didn't even kill her. Now Yan Lihai has been looking for me. Song Xiao, I'm pregnant with Yan Lihan's baby. How can you compare to me this time? When you leave, I will abort this baby. Yan Lihan is mine. Miss Song, I'm pregnant. The baby is Yan Lihan's. Wen Xi, you should tell Mister Yan. Song Xiao, the crash. You must know who did it. The crash 
You must know who did it. Yan Li Han helps me fabricate information because he doesn't want you to bother him. <laughs> Wen Xin, do you really think you can be rich because of your son? You can have a try. See if you can use this child to marry Yan Li Han. Song Xiang, any business is afraid of public opinion. If I do it first, I can marry him. Wen Xing is pregnant. That's good. Yan Li Han finally gets off my back. I'm down with him. In two months, we won't have anything to do with each other. Reporter Wang, I have a big story. Yan Li Han, the president of the Yan Group, has a baby. Mr. Yan, something bad happens. We find Wen Xing, but she's about to jump into the river. She says she's carrying your baby. Mr. Yang, I... You handle Wen Xing's pregnancy. You know about her pregnancy? Congratulations. She's going to jump into the river. You handle it immediately. Don't affect the Yang group. What about the baby? Take her to the hospital. Abort the baby. I... Ruin my reputation. The baby can't stay. Yang Li Han, in what capacity? Do you want me to handle this? Wen Xin, Miss Yan wants you to come back with me. Song Xiang, I know he wants to abort my baby, but I just want my baby to lie. No one can hurt him. As you know, I worked as Yan's for five years. Everyone wants to have a relationship with Miss Yan. Intimate photos, false pregnancy. I've seen a lot of that. I'm not surprised. Don't slander me. Who doesn't know? You are his lover. The baby I'm carrying is Yan Li Han's. What proof do you have that the baby is his? Ah, my baby! How dare you hit me? Why am I afraid to hit you? Miss Yan just proposed to me, and you say you are pregnant. Don't you deserve to be hit? What? He proposed to you? Didn't you just sign the mistress agreement? It's a little fun between us. You don't need to know. Wen Xing, let's go to the hospital to abort the kid. Don't blame me. Let me go! It's all on Miss Yan's orders. Let me go! Let me go! Song Xiang, how dare you hurt Yan Li Han's kid? Don't you love him? How dare you do this? How could you do anything bad to him? It's all on Miss Yan's orders. Take her to the operation room. Yes, sir. Shouldn't I be glad? I'm not pregnant with his child, and don't have to go through this pain. She's wrong, because she thinks he likes her. It's bad luck to be with him. Profess the love and purpose, and get a secretary pregnant? Yan Li Han, you're unbelievable! It's just a public relations strategy, a way to turn public opinion around. Song Xiang, I'll deal with you later. What about the kid? Not yours? I don't care if you marry or not. The Yan's kid must stay. Grandpa, that's not my kid. Then I won't worry about it. Li Han, you really don't want to marry a girl from the Qings? Miss Qing has a crush. Grandpa, we don't fit. Okay, fine. I won't worry about it. See you. You upset me! You are clueless! How dare you propose to a secretary? Mr. Xu, where's Song Xiang? I propose to her? Ridiculous. Mr. Yan, she's in the hospital. I profess my love to you, Song Xiang. Are you dreaming? Mr. Yan. Just a public relations strategy. You don't even know that, do you? Why don't you say you profess your love? 
It's better to say you profess your love. You let me handle this, by any means. Now that Miss Yen is here, I'm leaving. Song Xiao, you are not leaving until it is done. Miss Yen, what do you want? You find a way to fire Wen Xing. You hire her. You're responsible. She has misbehaviors. It proves you have no eye for hiring people. Miss Yen, she's the one you announced that she passed her probation. If she has misbehaviors, it proves you have no eye for choosing people. Let me go. I don't want to talk to cold-blooded people. Song Xiang, go to hell! Ah! Mr. Yu! Yan Lihan! Yan Lihan! Yan Lihan! I just want to kill Song Xiang! Wen Xing, you intentionally hurt people and stop Yan Lihan. The Yans will take revenge. You tried to kill my cat first. I didn't mean to. Mr. Xu, it's more important to save Miss Tian. He will be fine. He will live long. He will be fine. Song Xiao, my day is your tomorrow. Yan Lihan can abort my baby. He will also abort your baby. Wen Xing, if there is something wrong with Miss Yan, you and your family will pay for it. Why can't I have my child? Miss Wen, of course you can have the child, but do you know who the father is? Whose child could it be if it's not Yan Lihan's? April 12th, Jing Di Bar. Miss Wen was bullied by some drunkard, and now has a child of unknown parentage. The child, the child is not, not Yan Lihan's. Lihan. Who is Song Xiang? I am. Mr. Yan has a few words for you. Mr. Yan, he... Please come with me. Li Han. Yan Li Han. Doctor, why did Yan Li Han die like this? How can a knife wound be fatal? If your hospital dares to harm Mr. Yan, we will hold you legally responsible. Mr. Sul, Mr. Yan is fine. He's just unconscious from the anesthesia. I'm sorry, Doctor. I got carried away. Do you have any orders from Ms. Yan? The wound is in a special place and needs your care. I've written everything down on paper. Ms. Yan asked me to give this to you. Thank you, Doctor. Have you handled the matter? Miss Yan, Wen Xing has been taken away by the police. She dared to hurt me. She'll be dealt with severely. I won't let her go. Song Xiao, my promise to you will always stand. Miss Yan, thanks for saving me. That's all the thanks I get for taking a knife for you? Miss Yan, you can give yourself to me. Huh? Huh? My brother's abroad, can't come in person, so he asked me to give you his condolences. Huh? I heard you were in the emergency room. Are you alright? Miss Song, tell Mr. Xu to buy kanji and a bun. Okay, Mr. Yan. Bo Zhan, go back and tell your brother I'm fine. You can go. Huh? Why don't I stay and take care of you? We're both men. It's easier for me to stay. I'm used to Miss Song taking care of me. And don't worry about people who aren't yours. Huh? As for me, I'm just an illegitimate child. My brother is a business wizard. And I don't care about our boy's fortune. I just want to be a loser. Miss Yan. Mr. Xu has gone to buy it. Huh? Take a good rest. I'll come back to celebrate when you are better. Sister, I'm leaving first. Miss Yan, what else can I do for you? Song Xiao, stay away from Bo Zhan. 
It's really inexplicable. Mr. Yuan, your bombs and kanji. Mr. Yan, I will carry your kanji. I'm sick. It's better if you feed me. It's not as good as at home. So, Sha, you'll bring food from the Yan's from tomorrow. Mr. Yan, I have to work tomorrow. What? You don't want to? Who am I hurt for? Well, starting tomorrow, I will bring you three meals a day. Miss So, you go back to work. I need to talk to Li Han. Confusing! Is it worth it to get hurt over a woman like that? Grandpa, what are you doing here? Who ratted on you? Don't try to change the subject! I'm telling you, she won't get into the Yans. She doesn't like the Yans either. Cinderella won't fit in. She's far behind the Chin's girl. Grandpa, I'm tired. If you are satisfied, you can continue to contact me. Okay, thank you. Hi. Mr. Yan has proposed. Why is Miss Song still selling cars? I see there are some people who just put feathers in their own cap and don't see if they deserve it. Miss Song, it's almost the end of the month. If you don't make the grade, you're out of here too. Hello? Who's Miss Song? I am. You're Rose. Wish you a happy life. Ash, which sugar daddy sent these flowers to you? You need to maintain your relationship in case you get fired by Yans. You won't even be able to find a job. Bo Chan, why did he send me flowers? Miss Song, I think it's better to throw these flowers away. Be careful you don't catch anything. You. It's the flowers I sent you, sister. What's wrong with that? You should be ashamed. I tell you, don't presume such a bitch. Apologize to my sister. I apologize. Why should I apologize? Miss Song, she's a whore, a bitch, a piece of shit. You, you dare to hit me? You will regret this. You're welcome at any time. Remember it. I'm Bo Zhan. Don't get the wrong man. I'm sorry, Lord Bo. I was blind to the fact. Sister, the flowers are dirty. I'll give you another one. It's okay. Hello, Mr. Yan. So, Xia, you want to starve me to death? Lord Bo, I'm sorry. I have to go to the hospital. All right. So, Xiang, you will pay for this. Don't you like to get in others' bed? I will put you in direct Wang's bed. Miss Yan, let me change your dressing after dinner. It 
we're hurt a little. Please bear with me. Be gentle, please. Songxiang, I saved you. Are you willing to be with me? Yi Han, I really can't. I'm afraid I can't help. Falling in love with you again. Let's start over. It's too late. Yan Li Han saved you. To be honest, are you tempted? <laughs> I'm just doing my duty to take care of him. After all, he has saved me. I should take care of him. You do have a clear mind. The belated affection is really cheaper than grass. Xiao, you will meet a better man. By the way, do you remember? That young handsome guy? You mean, Bo Zhan? Right. Does he like you? <sighs> Lian, stop joking. How could such a handsome young man like me? I think he was just joking. I've investigated him. He's the illegitimate son of the boss, but he has a good relationship with the boss. If you want to fall in love, you can give him priority. But don't fall for Yan Li Han, that bastard, again. I know. I won't fall in love with Yan Li Han again. Yan Li Han could send me to Luis. In the future, he may send me to other presidents. Hello, Mr. Yan. Song Xiao, come to the company. Mr. Yan, what's the matter? Someone reported you for performance fraud. After investigation, it was Director Wan who gave you the performance. Miss Song, what's your explanation? Director Wan? Why don't I know that? Miss Song, you begged me to give you my performance, and you said you would repay me later. You looked so pathetic, so I give my performance to you. But who knew you, Mr. Yan? I'm wrong. I didn't expect she would be so greedy. She even threatened me with chart records and then made a big offer, trying to blackmail me. Director Wang, everything needs evidence. Mr. Yan, I've been slandered. I don't mind if the company steps in to prove my innocence. You are saying that I, the director, threatened you, a salesperson. Well, don't you want evidence? I've got it already. Director Wang is fully prepared. He even organized the evidence against me. Is he trying to fire me, or...? Song Xiao, you're suspended and need to be investigated. Why? Mr. Xu, Mr. Song, please. Mr. Yan, even if I'm suspended, I will find the evidence to prove my innocence. It's time to clean up the auto sales department. Director Wang, I will find the evidence. Miss so, don't be stubborn. Admit it early. So the company won't hold you responsible. If you want to get through this, come see me at the Diha Hotel tonight. I'll talk to you slowly. Director Wang, I won't bother you. By the way, you will end up humming yourself. We will see. Mr. Xu, I didn't expect to be bitten by my own people. It's hard to be a good person. Director Wang, the company will give you justice. Alright, don't be angry. Have a drink. Lian, Director Wang is trying to slander me. There must be someone behind him. But I don't know what they are up to. I think... Director Wang must want more than just to sleep with me. Have you come up with a solution? Do you need my help? No. 
I've decided to change the sales department, Director Wang. You will spend the rest of your life in jail. You really don't need my help. I've got something on Director Wang. I will think of something. Sister, what can I do for you? If Han is not good to you, you're always welcome at Bo's. I'm going to work first. You guys talk. It's too much for principal secretary to be in sales. Thank you for your kindness. I will figure it out. I know you are the best, sister. Tomorrow is my birthday. I want someone to stay with me. Can you? If you're busy, then forget it. I'll be fine on my own. Okay, I promise you. Huh? For me? Hmm. You want to take pictures? Hmm. For me too. Hmm. Sister, when you come out to play, don't worry about anything. Thank you, Lord Paul. Sister, are you sure you don't need my help with the slander? Lord Paul, why are you so nice to me? Sister, in fact, I do have an elder sister, but she had a bad fate. So every time I see you, I feel a sense of kinship. I think God has given me another sister, in another way. If I've caused you any trouble, I won't see you again. No. Miss Ian, what's the matter? Go back to the company. Nuts, Lord Bo, I have to go back to the company. I ordered you a cake at the dessert shop. I hope you like it. Sister, I like anything you give me. It's just that someone won't be happy. Then happy birthday, Lord Bo. Thank you. I will go back first. Sister, you are my prey. A prey that has been hooked. Song Xiang, stay away from Bo Zhan. Miss Yan, have you gone too far? My social circle is none of your business. He's not a good guy. He's calculating at a young age. If you don't believe me, go ahead. Look at the time. You're still going out on a date. You've got a good mentality. Miss Yan, I will find evidence to prove my innocence. But Miss Yan, after I find the evidence, you have to give me a reward. What reward? The president of Yan's auto sales company. Why are you making a deal with me? Because the evidence I found can help you take down Director Wang and clean up the sales department. Because of that, it's worth the position of president. It's up to your performance. Thank you for your commitment. I will do my best to gather the evidence. Xiang, you're awesome. You're actually getting the position of president from Yan Li Han. I've been with him for five years. I must get something from him. If you were like that, you wouldn't have been with him for five years. By the way, is it easy to do with that director Wang? Send someone to follow him. He's got a lot of shady sources. In fact, my performance fraud is not a big problem. I don't care if I'm fired, but as long as I can find out who's behind Director Wang, I can take the opportunity to turn around. Miss Song, you colluded with your boss, falsified your performance. You really did the great job. You're really willing to do anything. You don't know if Director Wang's bed is comfortable or not. I think you should prefer Director Wang's bed. Not everyone is like you. So fond of hooking up with others. 
Xiang, my people found that Direct One met with people from Yueji Company. We'll be right here soon. <laughs> Are you sure that Yueji has Direct One's back? Yes. He's taking advantage of car repairs to switch the engines on customers' cars. So he has to be in contact with car companies that deal in used cars. But all we have is the video, not the actual evidence. All we need is the video. Mr. Yan, three days have passed. We should find employees who cheating Yan's. Ms. Song, I can let you off the hook for backmailing me because of Yan's. I hope you'll take care of yourself when you leave, Yans. Director Wang, when you ask me to share performance with you, I explicitly refuse to you. And now you say that I am extorting you. I have chat logs and audio recording as evidence. Your best bet is to leave the company. Director Wang, I also have a video as evidence. What? It's, it's impossible. It's impossible. Director Wang, I wonder if you could open up your personal account. See if there are any large illegal gains. Mr. Yeah, I didn't betray the company. There's no illegal gains. Director Wong, you don't have to say that to Mr. Yeah. Police have begun an investigation. Please say that to the police. No, Mr. Yeah, I was wrong. I was wrong. Leave me. Mr. Yeah, we've already acquired Yuji. Miss Song. There is a currently a shortage of a CEO in the company under the Yan Group. Do you want to be? Which one? Yue Ji. Yan Li Han, I can't believe you made me to clean up this mess. I'll give you one year. If you can turn Yue Ji from loss to profit, I'll give you 5% of the original shares. What if I can't? You can leave at any time, without any responsibility. How could you be so kind? Su Xiang, you worked for me for five years. Don't tell me you can't run a billions yuan company. Are there any strings attached? Yes. Be my special assistant. You don't need to do anything but accompany me to the important banquet. You can leave at any time once the company has chosen the right person. Okay. I will think about it. Song Xiang, this is the last chance I'll give you. As soon as you leave this room, this chance is void. Mr. Yan, I don't think a special assistant's job would include doing your... Special assistant is not a principal assistant. Of course, if you don't want to, I'll give you 100 million yuan as compensation. Mr. Yan, I will try to be the CEO of Yuezi. So get out. Want to take a break? Mr. Yan, take care of yourself. So Xiao, you can't resist the temptation I offer you. You'll fall in love with me again. Xiao, you're so good. You're even a boss now. Don't forget me when you're successful in the future. Lian, running a company is not easy. But for that 5% of shears... I would do it. Why is Yan so generous? He's even willing to give you shares? One year turned from loss to profit, but I think I can do it. Come on! Today, let's celebrate you in advance. We're all so happy tonight. Let's drink as much wine as we want. Xiao, we will be better and better. Just like your wine, better and better. Sister, congratulations on becoming president of Yueji. Let me celebrate with you this weekend. Thank you, Ojan. Sister, don't mention it to me. See you at the weekend. Okay. Miss Song, are you getting used to the job at Yueji? It is all right, Mr. Yan. Mr. Yan, something happened to your dad. What? Your dad is missing abroad. Book me the earliest flight right away. Okay. Song Xiang, 
wait for my return and stay away from Bojan. Say that when you get back. Sister, you're finally here. Yeah. I've been waiting for you. Sister, you should eat more vegetables. You looked very tired recently. I recently took over a new company. I don't have anyone I can trust. I just feel so tired. You don't know how lucky you are. Mm. You don't know how lucky you are. It's gonna get better after that. Sister, are you having a hard time lately? I don't know how to run a company, but I do know one thing. Nothing can be standing without breaking. You must be able to manage the Yeti company. Thank you for your good words. Uh, I have to go to spend some time with my lover. You guys keep going? I'll send you, Leah. Lord Bois, will you sleep with me so today? Today is the last day for the betting. So, why are you just looking and not eating? I've watched it carefully. I ordered all your favorite dishes today. That's my honor. Lord Bo, so you think, what is standard without breaking? Ah, uh, sister, we're eating. Don't say these things. After dinner, I'll give you a good talk. I also bought you your favorite drink. We're going to watch a movie this afternoon, not suitable for drinking. It's hot in here. Try it, sister. <laughs> sister, how does this drink taste? Not so bad. Sister, Doesn't your body feel hot? Doesn't your body feel hot? Snooping around on other people's phones is very impolite. You say, if I sleep with you, what will Han think? <laughs> Don't struggle. In this drink, I added a special narcotic. The more you struggle, the more excited I get. Help! Help! Sister, I'm taking over the whole building. No one's coming to save you. Help! Sister, I took over the whole building. No one's coming to save you. Miss Song, you are so beautiful. Yelly Han! What? You want Han to save you? But he is abroad now. He's not coming back to save you. Sister, no one can save you today. <coughs> huh? You are coming to save the beauty? But even you are here today, you can't kill me. Mr. Xu, 
Send him back to the boss. Tell them. Bo Chan bullied my fiance. Let them give me a solution. Bo Chan bullied my fiance. Let them give me a solution. What? You really want to bury Song Xiang to deal with me? That's funny. Bo Chan, you will pay the price. Doctor, take a look at her. Looks like she took some kind of drug. Hot. Hurry! Okay. Hot. How is she? Hot. Song Xiao, I guess I'm really into you. Ah, oh, you leave her! <laughs> It wasn't a dream. Is he hurt? Miss Yan, thank you for saving me. I've warned you. Stay away from Boja. If I had an arriving time, I think you would die for dignity. Zhang, that Yan admits that you're his fiancé. Ms. Gu, what are you talking about? Ah, uh, <laughs> I, I didn't say anything. I just left, okay? Wait a minute. You stay here and take care of her. I've got work to do. Xiang, you are the real president's wife now. Lian, maybe he just said that to force the boss to deal with Lord Bo. Although Bo Zhai is an illegitimate child, he's still the boss member. If I don't have any status, the boss will certainly ignore it. Xiang, you really don't see it? Yan Lihai is interested in you. It's impossible for us. Cinderella and the prince straddle an impassable galley. Even though I thanked him for saving me, I also knew I could never fall in love with him again. Do not love him. Also, do not give him the chance to hurt myself. Liha, what have you done to punish an illegitimate child? Don't you want me to get married? Now I have a fiancé, but you're not happy yet. I won't admit your marriage. It is enough for the Yans to have your mother as a Cinderella. What if I had to marry her? I knew you mean it. But Miss Song, she doesn't deserve you. You're not in her heart. I've decided to marry Song Xiang. If you destroy it, I'd rather never get married. You! Hey! Anyone is better than Song Xiang? Dad, don't be angry. I can help you break them up. Do not hurt Li Han. Don't worry. How could I hurt my nephew? Bitch, you tricked me last time. And I won't let you go this time. Miss Song, you are pretty good at getting Yan Li Han to admit who you are. Miss Yan, did you enjoy your trip aboard? This is the payment for tricking me. Miss Yan, who's against whom? Song Xiao. Let me tell you exactly. As long as I'm here for one day, you're not going to enter the Yan's house. Who does Miss Yan think you are from the Yan's? 
Can you be the master of the yens? Mr. Yen hasn't intervened in this matter yet. Don't you get it? It's not I who flatter you, but you flatter me. So what? You are not worthy of our yens, Miss Yen. Originally, I haven't thought of saying yes to Miss Yen so soon. I was so stimulated by you, and suddenly found that it would be nice to marry Miss Yen. He is handsome and rich. The point is that he will give me yen's shears. Oh, about shears! It seems that Miss Yen has no shears in yen's. So, which of us is not a yen's member? Shut up! Stop it, Miss Yen. Please go back. Don't bother us when we are dating. She's a bitch, but you're still protecting her. She and Louis speak with dignity. Song Xiao, we are not down. Song Xiao, you promised to marry me. Miss Yan. What I do is to provoke Miss Yen. Miss Yen, is your dad okay? Miss Song, shouldn't you care about me? You are vigorous and must be in good health. Miss Song, you're too stubborn. Miss Yen, you promised me a gift. Exclusive to my wife, Song Xiao. Think about it. Song Xiao. The position as the president of Yueji Company is mine. You get up, <coughs> bitch! Can't you hear me? After what happened with Luis, you should know to stay away from me. My dad promised that this position is mine. You took my place, and now you're fired from Yueji Company. You like this pen? It's trash. And deserves to be thrown out. <laughs> Security, are you crazy? Throw her out of here. Yes. Remember it. It's not any riffraff and low types can get into the president's office. Let go of me. I will see who dares to touch the Yen's Ms. member. Yen, if you keep your place, Sunshine and I will not mistreat you. But if you still don't appreciate it, then you won't get a penny from the Yen's. Take her away. Yan Lihan, you're going to get screwed by this bitch. Let go of me! Let go of me! Let go of me! Let go of me! Act like a snob. Sooner or later, the position will be mine. No, sooner or later, the whole Yan's is mine. Bitch, you made me do it. I want the original hotel video. Bitch, don't you want to marry Yan Li Han? As long as the intimate video of you and Luis leaks out, Yan Li Han will only abandon you once again. Song Xiao, did you accept it? I won't let you go. I'm not. You didn't propose to me, Mister Yan. Yan Li Han, could you really accept me? My identity and my mom, who is in sanatorium. Meeting you is the best thing that has ever happened to me. I won't let you go, as long as I live. 
How will we handle the situation with Yan Chengchen? Never mind. No matter what happens, I'll always be right here. Song Xiang, give me a few more days. I'll handle my families and give you a great wedding. Okay. Yu Li Han, you better get back. Li Han, are you actually going to marry Song Xiang? I have already expressed my intention, Grandpa. She's the one. Weren't you not in love with her before? You even gave her to Lu Yixi. Even if I don't care about her identity, a woman with impure reputation can never enter the Yan's. Dad, don't get mad. Li Han is not a person without opinions. Since he likes Song Xiang, why not get them married? Get out! Everybody out! Miss Yan, don't be too calculating. You're not Miss Song's rival. Get a grip on yourself. It will be good for everyone. How could it be, Li Han? I truly hope you lovers become spouses. Engagement banquet is in five days. Are you okay with that? I will convince my dad. Thanks a bunch. I will make the little bitch see the reality. Su Xiang, please accompany me to the engagement banquet in five days. Okay, whose engagement banquet? What gift should I prepare? Our engagement banquet. Hey, Mr. Yan, congratulations! Xiao! Congratulations on being the president's wife. Thank you, Lian. You also found your own happiness. Hi, me. You're happy. That's enough. I focus on making money. Money is more important than men. Money and men are both important. <laughs> well, you guys keep being busy. I will go in first. Miss Soul, it's just an engagement. Your tail is pointing to the sky. People get divorced even after getting married. Don't get too excited, Grandpa. If you don't want to come, there's no need to force it. Without your blessing, Song Xian and I will still be together for a lifetime. Dad, let's get in. Hmm. <laughs> Congratulations, Miss Yan. Little bitch, I will make you famous tonight. You will be abandoned by Yan Li Han at the engagement banquet. This is the result of you scheming against me. Ms. Yan, what are your commands? Replace it with this. After it's done, I will give you two hundred thousand yuan. Okay. I knew she had ulterior motives. I don't even need to look at that USB flash drive. It must be the video of Louis and Take I. it easy. That video won't leak out. It's all your fault. If it weren't for you, would she have any means to threaten me? Isn't she under your control? Let's go to watch the show. Little bitch, I will see how long you can stay arrogant. Miss Song, I didn't expect that you would become a member of the Yans so quickly. Auntie, I heard Li Han said that you specially choose this day for me. Thank you so much. Without you. Li Hai and I wouldn't have such a smooth engagement. To show my gratitude, I will introduce more young talents to you, so that you won't be lonely in your old age. You little bitch! You tried to use Luis to destroy me, but you didn't expect that he would also destroy you. I've prepared a wedding gift for you. I'm sure you will love it. Wow! What a surprise! How romantic, Auntie. Did you check the video before? Are you sure such a video can destroy me? How could it? It should be the intimate video of you and Luis. How could it be replaced, Auntie? It's quite simple to switch the USB flash drive. 
Today's my big day with Song Xiang, so naturally, we wouldn't let anyone ruin it. Ye Li Han, she has already been with Lu Yisi. I don't care at all, but Auntie, I try to warn you. If you dare to target Song Xiang again, I won't let you off. Auntie, you're getting old. You're suited to retire early. What do you want to do? We will send you to the best sanatorium. Auntie, don't thank me and Li Han, you little bitch. You dare hit me, Auntie. It's mainly to repay you for the lessons you taught me back then. Remember to take good care of yourself in sanatorium. I haven't released a video of you and Luis. Already showing mercy, cherish it well. It's mainly because I don't want to ruin engagement banquet today. I will handle Jinjin's matter. You two go upstairs and rest. Grandpa. We will go rest first. You should rest early too. Hey, Miss Song, wait a moment. Here, take this. Treasure it well. Thank you, Grandpa. I will cherish it. <laughs> Song Xiao, Grandpa approves of you. What is the significance of this bracelet? It's left by my grandma for the hostess of the Yans. Are you okay, Song Xiang? Drink some water. It's all your fault. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be pregnant. Song Xiang, I love you. I love you too.